All right, so um, how do I do another one? Let me see what this is do. Okay, this is actually the better, the better variety. I'm just gonna go back myself then. Um, okay, so mm, I don't get all of it though, do I? No, that's with that now. Yeah, it's a kind of. So this does something though. You know, kind of expands it, but then it makes it gritty. This is not gritty, okay? So I'm sorry. So what I what I did was uh, I just turned off all the lights behind it. So I'm just going to go with the uh, the projector and the movie and see how that kind of looks because it, um, it seems to be pretty pretty good. I mean, again, that one is uh, it's too the dip is good, but it's too gritty. Okay, so sorry, uh, sorry about the, the whole beginning part. So I'm gonna I'm gonna capture this again because I really like the intro. I, I, you know, whenever I I, reflect, I I did this ten years ago, so I don't even remember what, what what I put in this. But the intro is really like everything else is just like pictures, but the intro is really cool because it. Here we go. It was a great problem that you managed. The lack of it, the need for it, the desire to get it, the willingness to kill or commit crimes for it, the fear. The solution to every single problem that humanity faces is abolishing money and the need for blah blah blah. So here we go. And this is the version with. No extra lighting in the back, and just um, again. Oh, you're crazy if you think anybody's gonna like this thing. Like, I don't really care if anybody likes it. Uh, I did it because not so anybody would like it. I did it, so if you look at it, you feel nauseous and you think, hey, that's really what society is. So, I mean, all the, that meditation that Mushi and, 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 uh, and uh, Deepak uh, uh, are trying to get me to do, um, is making me feel more comfortable with all that out there. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe we shouldn't feel comfortable. Maybe if we didn't feel comfortable with what was happening in society, we would change it. But because we feel comfortable and say we can't really do anything about it, so why can't we do anything about it? Hmm? Honestly, why can we not? I want to repeat this. Why can we not decide that um, abolishing money and the need for it? Which would solve every problem we face. It's about I'm telling you. You would say no, no, no. We have human beings have other problems. No, we, we had them as animals, but not as and not as brain thinking human beings. And this evolution that's happening to humanity. It's not going to happen to us. Happen to us with us, you know, uh, uh, thinking that that we still have to have the survival instincts to get into heaven because we don't. Right? Survival instincts are a lower animal. It's, once we understand. You know, even animals understand it at a certain level, at a DNA level. Plants do for definitely, but animals really do, right? Uh, yet, we still think that we need to have that survival of the, the survival of the fittest thing going, you know, when we could all just share. Honestly, it is that easy. It is that simple. If you don't want to believe that, then you're probably one of those billionaires or one of the middle class that, uh, that doesn't like change. You ask any poor, because you think about, like I said, poverty does not want to be poor. You know? Never. Even oh, it's kind of cool to be poor because you don't have any problems. Yeah, exactly, because you don't have all these problems, but you have a lot of other problems that you're not, you're not looking at. So, no, yeah, no way. Poverty does not want to be poor. Now, poverty doesn't want poverty. You know? Middle class kind of needs poverty. Middle class, again, repeat that. Middle class kind of needs poverty because without poverty there, there it would be poverty and holding those, those billionaires up, man. And then you ask any billionaire, they'll tell you that poverty is necessary. Why? Because without it, there would be no wealth. Get it? If billionaires didn't have anybody to take the billions from, um, then they wouldn't be billionaires, man. But because poverty exists, Okay. Well, maybe if we made it a third poor, a third... No, it doesn't matter what you do. As long as there's poverty, 
which is really saying that oh, as long as my foot, I don't know, is 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 decrepit and 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 and, and has is full of fungus, then it's okay if I just cut it off. You know, or just leave it there till it dies. Yeah. Huh? yeah. Wealth creates poverty. So if you want to help poverty, what do you do, Jesus? Yeah. Yeah. You remove wealth, right, guys? They know. You know. They know. Tribal cultures knew. Why? Because they didn't have a monetary system. You know. They, as far as I know, they shared pretty much everything, and and within the within their culture, and provided everything for 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 every child. As, as far as I know, uh, I mean, I, monetary systems are, are, are part of this this you know European uh, need for for you know for dominance that that comes from the satanic belief that money was gifted to humanity by. Um, was that uh, God's uh, God's uh, fallen angel, you know, God's other son, that uh, represents evil? So, so again, money is the root of all evil. So money is evil, right? Satan is evil. So that means money is Satan, or well, the Antichrist. Yeah? Money is the Antichrist, and we are the Messiah. Get it? And if we choose money, then we will be, what? And the Antichrist will, 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 um, will flourish for a thousand years. Well, now, probably like another, maybe, maybe another like 10, 20 until, until the big one happens. Um, but, but they don't care because why? Because when it happens to us, they just what? They just sit back and wait for the next civilization to try again. But if we overcome it this time by ridding ourselves of money, you know what happens? They all, except for Satan and, and the other one, the other ones just all fade away. Their souls are either if they if they're given back to them if they want to go off they they'll go down to hell and you know, and that's where Satan will go or the Antichrist will go with with uh, that that one that one billionaire that keeps on getting reincarnated with them and they'll rule hell and wait for you know at the at the end well, well hell really is just you know what is it I'm getting ready. hell is. Um, souls that have not understood their karma because it's been, and what happens is that they, they get trapped in this perpetual um, slavery uh, that is, is um, you know, is, it, is, is, is forever, is eternal, right? 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 I mean, I did this 10 years ago, so um, some of my, um, some of my, yes, money equals evil, and Satan equals evil, so money equals Satan, or the Antichrist. And we are the Christ, or the Messiah, that will, all we need to do is choose greed over spirituality. All we have to choose is rid ourselves of money and share everything. That's it. And then we have the heaven on earth that we all want and need. Other than that, we're stuck in the same thing over and over again, and this is hell. An eternity of this. You imagine a thousand years of just this? Do you imagine a thousand years of just this? No, it's going to be 10, 20 years of this. Yeah, and then we, every, all you guys all just fall back into the pool of creation. And then a civilization has to be created again. And you, and again, it's almost like you're going back to kindergarten. You're, you're in 11th grade, and you go back to kindergarten because... Because you didn't, you just didn't get it, you know, you didn't get it that the, the thing that's stopping you getting to 12th grade, huh? The thing that's stopping you, huh? Huh? Is the thing you don't want to get rid of because you believe you need it. Huh? You believe you need it. I, I mean, dude, you know, love you, bro, but, but. You're, peop you're keeping people nice and calm, and every everybody, and me, me. That taught meditation. I thought, so I, I teach people to, 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 you know, forget about all these illusions. It's like, no, it's an, it's not an illusion. It's an illusion in the sense where, where, where money and, and this, this, these things are illusion. But, but the fact that that seven billion people are enslaved by money, right? enslaved, and 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 their ascension as their soul's ascension is stunted, and will be. Um, 
uh, brought down back down to this to this level of starting all over again it can appear to the mind if we don't choose the right path everything that is everything that has a monetary system have everything every solution that has a, 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 a monetary value will never work will always become everything that has money money corrupts absolutely everything that has money is corrupt period trees don't have money i trust them the sun has money mother earth has no money the sun has no money mother earth has no money and i trust her and i'm listening to her guys not to any of you